from the moment 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick decided to take a knee for the national anthem and also show his disrespect for the police, he hasn't been able to get back up again. What would end up being the former sports star's final season, turned into an anti-American legacy he created for himself of hateful sideline antics that ultimately sealed his fate. Even with as bad as things have gotten for the disgraced sports star, people were completely shocked to see where he just showed up this week. Kaepernick wasn't picked up by another team who rightfully didn't want to risk their reputation in signing him. As NFL players across the country are busy training for the new season this week, Kaepernick was spotted in the least likely of places, far from the football field. It's fair to say that the former pro athlete now has even more reputation to salvage than he does time on his hands. He's out of work and the gravity of his decisions last season are being felt now in the training season more than when he was passed over by every team in the NFL during his free agency a couple of months ago. As his former colleague's condition for the upcoming season, Kaepernick humiliated himself by being seen outside a New York City parole office. Kaepernick has kept himself out of the limelight recently and nobody really knew what he was up to until he surfaced for the first time in a long time this past Monday. Alan B. West reports. Kaepernick spent the day standing outside a New York City parole office handing out two boxes of custom-made suits. The purpose wasn't just for the players' Know Your Rights camp, which aims to make parolees better equipped to achieve gainful employment and live more productive lives, as the mission statement explains. The public appearance also seemed to be an attempt at improving public relations for the anti-cop sports star. Clearly, Kaepernick is trying to garner positive publicity with this recent stunt according to Truth Monitor. Other NFL athletes were busy training yesterday, but thanks to his race-baiting ways, Kaepernick still is without a job. While the charity is certainly good and the effort a noble one, it certainly wasn't Kaepernick's priority while making anti-American and pro-Black Lives Matter statements all season from the sideline. Considering his support of BLM, maybe he could pass some custom suits out to them since these criminals will likely need them. Perhaps Kaepernick less inclined to help these ones since they abandoned him after he came to their defense at the cost of his career. In recent days, Kaepernick has been reduced to begging for a job which didn't end well for the entitled sports star. As we previously reported, he's essentially enemy number one in the NFL after NFL executives said that they genuinely hate him, according to the Tribunist. They think showing no interest is a form of punishment, the general manager said. According to Bleacher Report, some teams believe Kaepernick cannot play at a high level anymore. The fear of backlash is real, especially now more than ever since Americans have an outspoken patriot as president now and not one like Barack Obama who would make excuses for or praise such sickening behavior. When the free agency first began, Kaepernick probably just assumed that everyone would have forgotten about his sideline antics. They didn't and definitely don't want anything to do with his anti-American attitude at the huge risk he is to a team's reputation. Not only did the 49ers suffer, but the NFL lost credibility for allowing this to happen as did the sports network ESPN, who sang his praises for this statement and supported Black Lives Matters too. It's hard to take any good deed from this guy seriously after what he did for an entire season against all urging for him not to. It comes across that whatever he does now that seemingly out of character and a public display of generosity seems to be a stunt. Perhaps he deserves the benefit of the doubt and maybe even a second chance, eventually, he's going to have to spend more than a day proving that he's changed his ways, after spending months on his knee during the national anthem. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.